Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Is there a deeply depressing reason behind Ruby Fox Milligan's competitive and sharp attitude in Emmerdale? She gives off the impression of being a bile-spitting, gold-digging savage. Although that is largely accurate, there is a secret motivation behind her harsh speak-first, consider-later demeanor toward anyone who dared to enter Caleb's environment. Actress Beth Cording Lee shares a little bit of her character's inner workings with Metro.co.uk. The only explanation for her actions is that she perceives his family as a threat because she is afraid of losing him. But she keeps criticizing the Dingles and kicking out against them, which is obviously not going to help, instead of being intelligent about it and befriending them. Sometimes she even manages to transcend herself, and Nikki is shocked to see her attack Nate with her caustic tongue and not even seem upset about it. As effortlessly as champagne pours into her glass, vitriol erupts from her mouth. She occasionally manages to outperform even herself, so Mickey is shocked to see her attack Nate and act unaffected by her poisonous tongue wounds. As effortlessly as champagne pours into her glass, vitriol erupts from her mouth. Beth shares, Caleb is really nice about it and says, she was meant to choose, or something along those lines. Although it isn't said this way, the narrative goes that when I was a teenager and pregnant with Nikki, my family forced me to make a decision. I have a line where I say, we stopped talking to them after things were said. She continues by saying that Ruby dismisses it in her own regular manner. She acts as though it were no big thing. I chose you, I chose my family, she declares. There was not a doubt, I voluntarily did that. She says, she plays it down. It provides a comprehensive understanding of Ruby's character, since her prior tragedies have shaped who she is. Even if Ruby's primary intention is to please Caleb, Nikki begs her to apologize to Nate. She takes his advice, which Nate kindly accepts. The two then begin to connect after realizing how much they have in common with their separate cheating partners. She's making a slight progress in accepting a small portion of the Dingle family. Later, when Caleb finds Ruby and Nate chit-chatting casually, he gets a little concerned and wonders what her next move is. Is he back on her little finger, though, for the time being? The legendary Lisa Riley of Emmerdale has shared her reasons for refusing to have a genetic test to find out if she has a higher risk of acquiring cancer. In 2012, the actress, who gained popularity as Mandy Dingle on the ITV soap opera, lost her mother Kath to breast cancer. Emmerdale's famous character Chas Dingle, Lucy Pargeter, is currently telling the narrative of her breast cancer diagnosis, which stems from her having a defective BRCA gene. Chas then advised Kane, Jeff Hordley, Caleb, William Ash, and son Aaron, Danny Miller, to get tested, as the story centered around them. Aaron was the one who tested positive for the gene, which increases the likelihood that he may acquire certain cancers, such as breast, ovarian, and prostate cancer, as we have learned in previous episodes of the ITV soap opera. Backslash actress Lisa Riley has stated that she will not look into genetic testing herself, despite the fact that the show is emphasizing the value of getting examined. She told the mirror, it's my life, and I don't want to have that test done. Long before this plot, during our years together on Emmerdale, I've heard people ask me, but Lisa, with your history and your gene pool, why would you not do it? Because I don't need to do it, is my response. All I want is to be myself and go about my daily existence. Tomorrow, I might get struck by a truck. Lisa's mother passed away in 2012 at the age of 58. The actress lost three grandparents to cancer in addition to having two great-grandmothers affected by the disease. It's my decision not to have the test, but I do get an annual elective mammography for peace of mind, and I think it's very important, she said. I don't want to be that person who spends the rest of their life with that. You have to spend a day in my shoes, 
even though I know that will make me look bad. It's my business because people have no idea what it's like to be me and share my genes, which I use to wake up and go to sleep every single day and night. It's great that this is being shoven on television because there are still a lot of people who may not be aware that this gene is faulty. Although it's great that the audience will learn about it, I personally don't want to know. Mandy Dingle, Lisa's Emmerdale character, is said to have a step of week. kissing Chaz, Patty, Dominic Brunt, determines that a big show is necessary to win Mandy over. As the fairy godmother Amelia, Daisy Campbell, helps Mandy get dressed, assisting with makeup and making sure she looks gorgeous in a Cinderella costume. Then, all out in the finest, Patty walks into the salon. Sammy Winward, an Emmerdale star, stunned viewers with her striking new hairstyle. The actress, who played Katie Sugden, posted a selfie on Instagram that showed off her blonde hairstyle. Finally got the chop after annoying everyone around me for weeks, she wrote as the caption for the photo. Many thanks to hashtag BlondeBob and at Olivia Benethair. Admiring words were quickly sent by fans, with many stating that Sammy looks great in her new look. Ua Glove, actress Amy Walsh, who portrayed Tracy Metcalf on the soap opera, retorted. Kimberly Hart Simpson, Nikki Wheatley, a former Coronation star, only added, love. The actress commented to Inside Soap on the likelihood of a comeback saying, I get asked all the time when I'm coming back to Emmerdale, and I'm like, I'm dead. I'm happy that Katie was killed off because it made it feel more definitive to me. I don't constantly question if I should go back now. It made sense to me when they informed me that Katie would die at the end of my stint on Emmerdale. After all of that drama, Katie and Andy were back together when I told them I wanted to leave, and I don't think she would have left him unless she died. Sammy is a mother to 17-year-old Mia, whom she shares with 43-year-old football player David Dunn, her former fiance. Two days after the passing of his mother-in-law, Basker Patel of Emmerdale has conveyed the tragic news that his mother has passed away. The actor, who is most known for playing ITV soap opera Rishi Sharma, informed followers on Instagram of the tragic death. Basker posted a number of beautiful pictures of his mother on the platform along with the caption, My Wonderful Mother Shantabin Dayibhai Patel, 1929, 2024. I really do miss you. Basker had announced the passing of his wonderful mother-in-law, Cynthia, on his feed a few days before. Christina 1932 to 2024 Wonderful Mother-in-Law he commented, attaching photos of the cherished family member. After portraying Rishi Sharma for 12 years, Basker departed Emmerdale last summer. The cherished figure was discovered lifeless at the base of his residence's stairs, leading his relatives to surmise that the fall was merely a terrible mishap. That was clearly not the case, as demonstrated by the appearance of Rishi's brother Amit, Anil Gautam. After learning that his brother had died, Amit left the scene to avoid giving the impression that he had shoved Rishi, even though he had been beside him when he collapsed. After speaking with Amit and lawyer Bill, fans began to question whether the businessman caused the fall in order to obtain some inheritance money. Regarding his departure from the show, Basker told Metro.co.uk, I'll miss working with the Emmerdale family, they are a great bunch to work with, and I learned a lot as well. It gives you a brilliant profile, and when Rishi died, the response online made me cry. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.